No one knew how it would work out when Ford sold Swedish automaker Volvo to China's Geely in 2010. Geely was willing to invest major money for Volvo to completely redesign its vehicle platforms, powertrains, and processes to replace the Ford equipment it had used for the previous decade, but plenty of historic brands have deep-pocketed patrons backing them up. It was similar to Volvo's last sale in 1999, when industry experts were divided as Ford purchased Volvo to fill out its former premium automotive group, which also included Jaguar, Land Rover, Aston Martin, Lincoln, and Mercury. Volvo's prospects darkened when the global economy and auto sales collapsed in 2008 to 2009. Its U.S. sales slumped from a Ford-era peak of just under 140,000 in 2004 to 54,000 in 2010. Driven by new technology and products, sales began to rebound as Volvo's old 4, 5, and 6-cylinder engines were replaced by a new family of fuel-efficient dry V2.0 liter turbocharged 4s. Some were also supercharged and some teamed with electric motors and hybrid models. Then came the 2016 XC93 Row SUV, which earned multiple awards, including North American Truck, Utility of the Year. Volvo's new products garnered strong media reviews, and the company sold more than 500,000 vehicles globally for the first time in 2015, up 24% in the US market, 10% in Europe, and 11.5% in China. That was followed up by more than 534,000 sales in 2016. Though its US division topped 82,700, it fell far short of key competitors and still wasn't back to its height under Ford ownership. This year, it's been a slow start, with XC90 deliveries sagging 36.3% through April, and the beautiful S90 sedan has not sold well. Company sales are down 8.6% in the American market so far this year, though April saw a 15.4% uptick. Are the gains made in recent years slipping away? Can Volvo ever truly compete with German, Japanese, and US luxury brands? Or will it continue to trail in perception and sales? I think we made such a step upward with the XC90 that we are on par with the premium competition, Volvo's North American CEO Lex Kurthmaker says. The XC60 is exactly the same. Our philosophy a few years ago was to be on par with them, and now our recently introduced vehicles are on par with them from a luxury perspective. Are we there from an awareness perspective? No, not yet. We know that will take a while.